the last year, we did everything we could to get them going. We were, I was stationed in Germany at the time. German Beth and I were working real close with each other. She helped get me on this path of animal nutrition. She really did. And I had begun to take classes and stuff at that time. We finally ended up having to put Buddy, Buddy down and it took about, I don't know, maybe six months before I got Harley. A friend of mine married a German over there and their family had raised German Shepherds since time began. And I was able to get Harley and we totally changed her diet compared to however I was feeding anybody, any other pet I've had due to what I had learned about animal nutrition. And the poisons that, what, what I consider poisons or, and the FDA considers it's okay in the amounts that they're putting them in there. That, that started the realm there or the, started the movement there. And then in 2019, I ended up getting a, a rescue. A classmate of mine at the SAR major academy called me and she said, Hey, this dog just showed up. It's in really bad shape. And she had two horny corsos and said, my dog's going to rip this dog apart. Please get over here and get this dog. We had all, we had both volunteered at the El Paso Humane Society and we both know, knew that there's no way in hell, I'm sorry, no way in heck that I'm going to bring uh, a dog to the Humane Society. It's, they do the best they can, but it, it's just cool. So quick ran over there and grabbed her. Bella is her name or was her name. And so we, it was supposed to be for two weeks, three and a half years later, we still have Bella or had Bella and, uh, but. My wife and I were sitting now, we're doing, just throwing some numbers around and we're realizing like, holy cow, we're spending so much more money on the dog's food than we are on our own food. So that set me off on a huge mission. I, I started doing a bunch of research online. I started going to stores. I went to Walmart and I probably made some poor 18 year old kid cry because I was throwing stuff on the floor. He's like, sir, can I help you? And I'm like, that's all garbage, just throw it away. And uh, about that time is when my wife said, hey, it's time to go. Uh, it was a very difficult, daunting task of trying to find something that was affordable, but was still what I would consider okay to give to one of our dogs. And that literally, I looked at my wife, said, hey, I'm going to start a pet treat and food company. She turned around, looked at me, and she was like, awesome. 